Before we begin, let's all have a moment of silence for our favorite champion, Vola Bear. Rest in peace, thunders roar. The audio quality is so bad and this is so cheap. Because they see him to go in, they know his flash is still down. I was gonna say, they get the E out, he might get headbutt and hit, but he's got the passive. Oh, Tech goes down again. Apple on the stick there, and ooh, Dardock, Q into Q. Featherstorm comes out, Dardock from the top side. Coast to coast, now to the bot lane. Trying to get his hands in every pie, but Contrax is back now. Adrian with the Ignite on him. They get the flip on the Dardock. The tankies can go down first. It would be the best in the fight, but no. They just obliterate the low health HP. Oh, the they leave Dardock off. Can they get him? South Division comes out, and there's no room down after the extended fight. But Contrax reads it as well. Junglers are everywhere to start things off. When there's less vision in the game, with Tracker's Knife early, it's in. Perfect. Oh. you like it. Chilling Smite goes down, Adrian not level 6 yet, and they bite down on the cow. Without the ultimate, making sure they hit once more on that bot lane. Baron fight here to fight over a major objective. Pops out, damage to start. This is the early... Whoa! Echo Fox go a little too deep. High is going to be able to route the backside as they put the sun mist down. This could be it. That's going to be Dardock taking quite a bit of damage. Or, sorry, taking almost being down. What's up? What's up? 
before the buffs rolled in, well, not everything was sunshine and rainbows to say the least. Ultimately, Volibear felt really, really underpowered. His numbers were complete trash, combine that with his extremely exploitable abilities, and you ended up with a budget version of Warwick. His early game was terrible, and his late game wasn't all that great. Although many improvements came in, including an insane buff to his Q where they made the windup unstoppable, more damage, and a larger ultimate radius, either way his weaknesses are simply too glaring. His ultimate is probably the hardest to land in the whole game, and it has a really long cooldown, 160 seconds. Combine that with the fact that he simply cannot 1v2. His W is super easy to kite. Even while landing his E, you can either ask your teammate to body block, or you can just run away. Even with Q, he still has to deal some sort of damage. His ult is still way too slow and easy to dodge, and neither his passive nor his E deals enough damage to win the fight. The best way to win the 1v2 as Volibear is to kite the shit out of them. But Volibear doesn't even have the tools to use that playstyle effectively, compared to the champ to champions like Darius who can use his Q to heal and his bleed. Or Mordekaiser who can use his passive to kite and his ultimate to win the 1v1, then shield himself, and in some cases, even win the 1v3 outright. Still, Volibear feels a lot better right now. His early game is really strong, actually. Sure, his level 1 isn't the best, because your E is too slow. Your Q doesn't deal enough damage. And your W is too kiteable. Sorry for speaking so slow, it's just I have um, amygdalitis. And your passive outright triggers Doran's shield. But at least the wave clear is pretty decent. His level 2, however, is really strong. Mainly because it becomes pretty frustrating to even come close to Volibear as a melee champion. The Garrett and Urgot matchup used to be super difficult, but now that you have your W, 
which heals, and your E, which which the E shield deals a crap ton of damage now, and it eats their own their damage. And you have the bonus health to tank Garen ulti plus the unstoppable effect to counter Urgot E. Voli is a lot happier to fight these champions. Vola Bear does significantly better in these matchups. And unless they play really smart, in which case, hashtag better both Vola Bear. Nevertheless, this is one of the worser reworks Riot has ever come up with, in my opinion. If you really think about it, for starters, you can't buff Volibear too much because his kit is overloaded. Like, you have a heal, you have a shield, you have a stun, you have bonus movement speed, you have bonus health, you disable turrets, you have two slows, you have wave clear. Like, it, it's a crap ton of stats. You even have percent health damage. It's just way too much. And... If you lower his numbers, his kit will feel unrewarding and clunky and not consistent at all. And it's not like a Kali where sure her win rate is her win rate is trash and she has an overloaded kit. But if you know how to play her, you pretty much win 95% of every lane matchup and climb the challenger. And that's because her abilities are incredibly rewarding to highly mechanical players. You can use Q to kite, use W to stealth, avoid damage. You can use your E to dodge abilities and engage at the right time. And you can use your ulti to dodge, escape, or dive. Her kit is so versatile and can be used in so many situations. Plus, she has an amazing power spike with Gunblade. I'm not saying that Akali is the most balanced champion in the game. But my point is, her kit gives her the options to be that way, to play that way. Meanwhile, you have Volibear, a champion that is apparently meant to stick on to opponents, but sucks at doing so, and a champion that can only win 1v2s by kiting, when he himself sucks at kiting. His only built-in escape is his ultimate, and his Q gives him a lot of movement speed, but it isn't as effective as a Darius pull, or a Warwick passive. And sure, you can say that Vola Bear's ultimate is a really, really good built in escape. But here we're talking about kiting. Like, Aatrox has his Q, which, ha which, first of all, it has enough range to kite any champion. And it heals him. Like, his abilities heal him. Every time he deals damage with his abilities, he heals himself. And so, Volibear can't really use his ultimate to kite, because, well, first off, it it, it 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 has a really, really long cooldown, and it's an ultimate, for fuck's sakes, like, you would never use Volibear's ultimate to space yourself out, unless you want to escape, unless the only purpose for using his ultimate is to escape because even if you try to engage in someone, again the ultimate is too fucking hard to land. And if they have even hands, like they could literally have like 10,000 ping. If they have hands, if they have fucking hands or eyes, they can dodge Volibear's ultimate super easily. At the end of the day, Vola Bear's kit is just really badly designed. It's like it's really bad for the players playing against him, and it's really bad for the players playing him. Whereas Akali is consistent, and if you know how to play her, you'll be rewarded. Vola Bear, even if you play as well as you can, even if you're the highest rated player ever, you still can't get around his weaknesses, and you end up losing lane matchups. In which, even if you're, say for example, gold, an iron player can outright outlane you. And I can confirm that with a statement coming from LS. I'm not going to link it. You can search it up for yourself.
once you find it, good for you. Uh, I think he mentioned it in his patch rundown, 10.12, I'm not really sure. But the point is, Volibear, if they buff him too much, he'll be the best melee champion in the game, the best duelist in the game, and pretty much the best early game champion. He'll be better than Zin Zhao even. And if you nerf his numbers too much, he'll feel terrible. He'll feel like pretty much the worst champion in the game because even if you have all the tools, none of them are good enough. Like, you're a jack of all traits, but instead of being even decent, you just suck at all of them at the same time. So, anyways, that's pretty much it, I guess. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. What is up, guys? Um, so it looks like I can't play the game anymore. Um, my The regional server isn't working anymore, so I guess... I guess this is it, boys. It's over. It's over for real. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it'll, maybe they'll, they'll fix it. But <clears throat> truth, truth be told, the like with if this thing lasts long enough, I might actually just forget about the game entirely. And there's a big chance I'll probably I probably won't play the game anymore. So I mean I know for a fact that I'm trash. I mean I don't play the game for like winning or getting to challenge or anything like that. I just enjoy the game with what I can with what I can do. And sure I improve here and there, but really it's not a big deal and at the end of at the end of the day I pretty much just played this because I kind of liked it but I mean I kind of hate the game but I also like it a lot like there are so many things you can do in this game that are like really cool and like the different updates and the meta changes are really they make you want to go back to the game, but unfortunately it seems like I can't play the game for now. And if I can't play the game for now, I might just lose uh, lose any form of... I'll lose interest in the game. I'll lose interest in wanting to open the client. So... Eventually, I just for, I'll, I'll probably uninstall the client and call it a day. And I guess that's it, boys. Quitting for real, finally.